Hey guys, welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. You know what's awesome? Cars. Big cars, tiny cars, muscle cars, sexy cars, high-tech cars, see-through cars. Yeah, like if your car had a cloak of invisibility taken apart and used to make the interior of the car. Except a cloak of invisibility doesn't exist in real life and a transparent car now does. Thanks to a team of researchers from the Graduate School of Media Design at Keio University who wanted not only a safer, but a way more exciting way to drive. To give the driver a totally open and uninhibited feel like you're piloting a plane, you have a few options. You can make the car out of glass. Nope. You could use a self-illuminated display like the LEDs use when we covered see-through planes here. But to create an actual light producing display and shapes needed for an interior car door, a back seat, and a floor would be incredibly difficult. Not to mention those back seats would be crazy uncomfortable. You could use projection onto surfaces that work as a screen, but how do you get an image that's bright enough during the day that doesn't warp when it's projected onto a curved surface? You invent a new projection system using half mirrors, cameras, projectors, and screens coated in glass beads. That's how. This retro reflective projection technology, or RPT, reflects the light in such a way that the image is bright enough and because of the angle of projection there's no distortion of the image. RPT also uses one projector for each eye so it can create a glasses-less 3D image and the driver can even see through a passenger sitting in the back seat. Now this is awesome in cars. Awesome. But RPT opens the door for other types of optical camouflage too. Other possibilities include using x-ray data or MRI images projected onto a patient during surgery. Technicians who work with their hands using see-through gloves so as to do not block their view. Or see through clothes! Not like in a dirty way. Like this. So usually now is when I give the it's gonna be years before we'll ever see this tech disclaimer, but the researchers say that this tech is ready right now, although no price has been announced. So what price point would make this a good option in your opinion? And let us know how you arrived at that number. Like, comment, subscribe, grab yourself a coffee. I'm Trisha Hirschberger and considering the backup cameras sell for around $200 on the cheap and this would be like four different surfaces of backup camera, but a way better and higher tech. I'm going with like a thousand dollars. I was on the prices right once. I just, I didn't go home with the showcase showdown. So what do I know? Uh. <laughs>